Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Um, today I'm going to be doing a what's in my makeup stroke wash bag. Um, as I'm going away this weekend, today is Thursday, yep, Thursday today, um, and I'm leaving half past seven tomorrow morning. Um, just going away for a girls weekend as it is my friend's Hindu. Um, I will be recording, so if you're interested in seeing how that went, um, there'll be a vlog up at some point over on the vlog channel. As always, I'm at home, there's a gilly tail, Darwin is here as well, so there may all be noise. Right, I'm going to crack right on because nobody wants a long video. Um, the bag I've got is by O'Neill, um, O'Neill is like a surfy brand. Um, I've had this for years, it's got like a graffiti print on, I really like it, it's massive. Um, the only thing that I haven't got in here is my hairbrush because I will need that in the morning. But everything else is pretty much in. I'm at a different angle, I'm having tripod camera issues. Um, I won't bore you with it but I'm working on it. Okay, I've not got an order to any of this, I'm just going to pull it out as I go. It looks like that inside. Okay, so I have a new toothbrush, which I will probably leave at the hotel. Um, I have some skin therapy facial wipes. These are three in one fragrance free facial wipes. These are from Wilkinson's. Um, I have a dual ended or double ended um, brush. Um, it's angled, so I'll be using it for blush. Um, and bronzer. I have a pack of gel cushions um, that I got from... No, Gilly, Gilly's trying to now attack my brush. These are gel cushions. I got these from the pound shop um, just because we're going clubbing one of the days or one of the nights. Um, so, and I'm wearing heels which I don't normally do so these are hopefully going to protect my feet. Um, I have some eyelashes the with girls attitude I got this from Superdrug I'm not a big eyelash fan because I have quite long eyelashes um, but give them a go oh I got a new reptile comb I got this from Wilkinson's the other day um, it was 10 pence I couldn't find my one so I thought for 10p I'm not gonna dig for anything um, in the little side bit I have some Nivea cream soft shower cream I have a Taylor of London um, mouthwash now a lot it's a spa so I'm hopeful that there'll be nice toiletries in the bathroom but I am sharing a room with my girlfriend um, so I can't haul them all so I thought it's best to be prepared that to have everything um, I've got some of my Clinique um, clarifying lotion so glad I got those in the minis because obviously they come in giant bottles if you've seen them. Um, I've got some cotton wool pads for taking off makeup. I have a disposable razor. I have a pack of chewing gum. Um, and I have my um, the vintage um, cosmetic company tweezers which are so pretty. Um, Obviously, I have done my eyebrows quite recently, but it's that thing, two days later, I always find a wiry hair that I don't like. Um, I have my EOS lip balm in strawberry. I went in there for you to smell it. You can't smell it. <laughs> um, Perfume-wise, I'm only taking one. I'm taking um, my Yardley um, Royal English Daisy. I am in, in love with this at the moment. Um, yeah, I'm loving it. Have to buy a new one soon. Um, conditioner wise, I'm taking the Davies or Davines um, Authentic Moisturising Balm. Now, some of you may have this. There's the pretty packaging. Um, I got this in a glossy box forever ago, and literally, I did this. I went, oh, it is not, <laughs> it doesn't smell great. I'm not going to lie. Um, and then I saw a really good review on it, um, so I thought, oh well, I've got it, I'll try it, and I really like it. Luckily the smell goes, it isn't a smell that lingers, it doesn't smell nice, it's very, like, bad floral. Um, 
but as a product I'm really enjoying it. Um, what else have I got? I've got my eyelash curlers. I have got a Tony and Guy shampoo. Um, this is for Thrizz Soothing. I have my Max Fit Max Mac Fix Plus. I have oh that's a bit that needs a wipe. That's Gilly kicking the makeup I've taken out of the bag. Um, I have the Tony and Guy Classics Limited Edition Shine Gloss Serum. I'm gonna put that over there because it needs a wipe. Um, toothpaste wise, I've got the Colgate Ice Blast Whitening Toothpaste. Ooh. Um, deodorant wise, I've got the Garnier Minerals Invisible Invisicam. I'm sorry, Invisicalm. Um, for face creams, as a day cream, I'm taking the Vici, I think that's pronounced. It's a really nice cream. You've probably it's the pink one. I really like it. Um, normally for this kind of trip, I'd probably only take one cream. Um, but because I know it's, a, I think I've already said it's at a spa, there will be time spent in a jacuzzi um, and there will be time spent in a swimming pool and there will be a lot of alcohol consumed. I wanted to take a heavier cream. Um, this cream is actually a wrinkle cream. It is Capture R60. 80. Um, it is a, I don't think you see, it. it's a dual facial cream. It's normally, mm, it smells a bit, you can't smell it. I don't know why I'm going with this. It smells, it smells like old lady face cream. Brutally honest, it does. Um, it's normally what I would think is too heavy for me. Um, however, when you are sunburnt or your skin feels tight from chlorine or hungover, it is the best facial cream ever um, because it does make you feel pretty good, ama pretty good amazing, pretty good, I don't know, it makes you feel good, um, but yeah, it's a little too thick for me for an everyday thing, but I'm taking it because I think my skin will need it. Um, I don't wear foundation as a rule, it's not something I enjoy, um, but I am taking the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream um, in Universal Glow. Um, I really like this on a night out. Um, gives you a hint of colour. Nearly at the bottom, I have a little compact mirror. I have some Benefit the Professional. Um, you know what that is. <laughs> I have got my e.l.f. Um, Contouring blush and bronzer looks like that. Um, I have got so many expensive blushes and bronzers to be honest, and I just keep on coming back to this. I love it. I just I really enjoy it. I keep on wanting to buy NARS, um, but obviously they're so much more expensive. And at the moment, I love this so much. It's kind of silly. Um, I've got only taking one eye brush. That might not be enough. Um, it's by Tweez Trendy Cosmetics. I believe this came in June's glossy box. May have to go and grab another one, like a fluffy brush. Um, liquid eyeliner that I'm taking um, is by Collection Eye Definition Liquid Eyeliner in black. Um, I'm trying a new primer. This came in this month's glossy box. Um, it is by Absolute New York and it's an eyeshadow primer. I've not tried it yet, so hoping it is good. Um, mascara wise, mm, now still not, I'm going tomorrow so I need to make my mind up. This is the new um, Mary Kay, Mary Kay Lash Love Mascara. I've used it twice, really enjoyed it. Um, and it's got one of these brushes. Like it's really thin and metally, um, like hard plastic, and I don't really like them. So I'm kind of thinking I may take a different mascara for an evening look. I'm not sure, or I've not used it enough to know if it's very buildable. But when I've worn it for a daytime look, it's been really nice. So I might have to pack another one. Um, for eyebrows, I'm taking Maybelline Brow Drama in medium brown. I love this. I think quite a lot of people have it because it was in a glossy box. Um, but it's got this really cool little brush that really helps you get there. 
Um, obviously my eyebrows are quite full. I do have um, gappage on oh, actually on both of them in this area. One from over plucking, one from a misfortunate piercing when I was younger. <laughs> um, palette wise, I'm taking my French Connection palette. If I can open this without breaking a nail, that'd be lovely. Um, it isn't all, you know, it is, look at that. It has a nice little array, um, so I can mix evening and daytime. I was gonna take two, I was gonna take my sleek palette as well, but I kind of changed my mind because I always overpack these things. The other eyeshadow I'm taking, I'm taking this Calvin Klein um, one in Cashmere Plum. And that looks like that. It is a very delicate pinky colour. It's nice for daytime. Or I might layer it and make it a pink smoky eye, maybe with a brown. Um, I have some nail files in case there's a nail emergency. I, oh, talking, I have, as you may see, I have no polish on my nails. How long are they getting? Uh, I'm having a manicure at the spa. Um, which I'm nervous about because I don't normally like other people doing my nails um, but I'm taking my this top coat by Nail Nail Girls which I'm loving at the moment um, I also will be packing the hot pink polish that I currently have on my toes um, so if I get a chip in my toes I can touch it up and if I hate the manicure that the spa give me I can paint them pink at least um, <laughs> concealer wise I picked up a, a new Elasting Perfection concealer the other day um, so that's by collection and then last things are lip products been really restrictive if you saw the last time I did a travel makeup um, thing I took like 12 lipsticks it was ridiculous so I've got it down to 3 and a, obviously in a lip balm that doesn't count um, the lip gloss I am taking is by Beautiful um, Beautiful Lips or Beautiful Movement Cosmetics, I think it's called. Not really sure. It came in a glossy box. I love it. Um, it's a, the perfect nude colour. It's non-sticky, which is a big thing for me. Um, and then lipstick-wise, I am taking Max Cockney. This is a luster. I really like it. It's a beautiful red. Very moisturising really enjoy it um, and then if I decide I want to wear pink on the evening I've got Revlon lip butter in lollipop which looks like that so in case I want a pink lip um, this sounds really strange but I really find that lollipop makes um, your teeth look really white I think it's because it's got a blue base to it and then for a pretty daytime lip oh, this is a bit dirty this looks like it is by um, Oon which is part, I believe, is part of, or something to do with bourgeois. Um, it's like the perfect daytime natural colour. It's looking a bit darker on camera. Um, let's do a rather heavy swatch. It's just like a nice lip nude without making you look dead. It's still coming up a little bit brownie toned on there. But it's yeah, it's just like the perfect daytime lipstick. I love it. Um, the shade is shade 907. I've tried to pick up another one because I can't really, I don't really know, I can't even remember where I got this from, but I love it. It's just the perfect daytime lip colour for me. Um, and that's everything. I know it seems like a lot, but if you saw my last travel makeup thing, you'd see I have streamlined massively. Okay, well that is everything. There will be no video put up on Saturday as I am not here and um, I'm not clever enough to work out the scheduling. Um, but uh, yes, I will be about, I will be Instagramming up a storm unless it's a bit over 18 rated. Um, hopefully, you know, it's just girls drinking and having fun so there'll be nothing naughty going on. But I hope you have a good day and I will speak to you all very, very soon. Take care, guys. Bye.